Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. Countdown to the top 50 NFL free agents of 2014. Guys counting all the way from 50 to number 1. This is the video for players 40 through 31. Uh, be sure to check out all the other installments of this series here. We'll start off with player number 40. Player number 40 is Golden Tate of the Seattle Seahawks. And to me, guys who provide you know, some versatility in their game are always going to get a higher spot on the list than guys who don't. And for me, Golden Tate is an average receiver, but to me, an above-average punt returner. So while the sheer receiving statistics might not impress you, his overall value to a team impresses me. Golden Tate at number 40. 40. At number 39, I have Roger Saffold of the St. Louis Rams. Again, a guy who can bring an offensive line some versatility. He can play guard. He can kick out and play tackle. I think a guy that's going to get a larger contract and be more valued than maybe even the spot I have him on this list because of that versatility and because of some of the downright awful offensive line play um, that you see throughout the league. And he plays you know, two valued positions uh, in most offensive schemes. At number 38, I'm going to take some heat for this, but I have Julian Edelman all the way down here at number 38. Now, the reasons I have him down here are, number one, if you're going to tell me last year, I had everyone telling me on this channel uh, that Wes Welker was a scheme fit kind of player. Well, if he's a scheme um, fit kind of player, then how does Julian Edelman not? This is a guy who, yes, he had over just over 1,000 yards receiving, but it took him over 100 catches to get there. I think this is one of those things where, He's most valuable to the Patriots, and the Patriots would be in their best interest to get a deal done with him because of the specific system uh, that they run. So look for Edelman to get a deal done with New England, um, but I think his value severely decreases if you put him with a quarterback that's not top-notch um, and precision type like a Tom Brady. At number 37, I have Captain Munderland of the Panthers. Yes, Munderland had an excellent season this past year with the Panthers. Um, but he also had some awful seasons, okay, preceding that. And I can't ignore those. I think 37 is a perfect uh, spot on this list for him. He'll find a home somewhere. He's a, a to me, a slightly, a, let's play, I say an average starting quarterback, a cornerback in the NFL. At number 36, I have Henry Melton of the Bears. Look, Henry Melton was franchised last year. Probably a guy that would have been a lot higher up this list had he not suffered um, the knee injury this season. I think he's going to get a one-year prove-it type contract like a lot of guys do coming off of uh, these bad knee injuries. And we could be talking about him next year okay, on this same list but higher because he came out and had a monster season uh, for a team that probably predominantly runs a 4-3 defense. At number 35, I have Ben Tate. Uh, again, I have him a lot lower than a lot of other people. I realize that. But one, let's not forget, Ben Tate is not a proven commodity. He's been a backup. He's never shouldered the load of a starting running back, except for this year. Okay, I know he had the rib injury problems, but he was not impressive to me uh, when he was the main guy there in, in, in Houston, rushed for under four yards of carry, and also a guy who has injury history, and he's never been a full-time guy. What's going to happen now uh, when he is – uh, the full a full time starter. You know, I'll proceed with caution with Ben Tate at number thirty five. At number thirty four, I have Justin Tuck, and Justin Tuck is a guy that you know, if you look at how he's performed in the playoffs, uh, he would be you know in the top twenty five of this list. But when you take into account he's coming off a good season last year, okay, but um, he is um, approaching thirty years of age, and when you combine that with the fact that you know um, he ha has had some injuries. He has had some seasons where he's underperformed. You know, I think it's a perfect spot for him on this list at 34. But make no mistake about it, I think he's the guy who's going to come out motivated um, and have a good season next year. And wouldn't be surprised if he get two, maybe three more good seasons out of Tuck at number 34. At number 33, I have Jared Allen of the Vikings. To me, this is a guy where if you need um, a good pass rusher next year, like maybe similar to the deal that John Abraham signed with the Falcons, then Jared Allen is your guy because I still think he has one more 10-plus sack season in him. But do you want to take the risk and give him a two- to three-year deal when he is on the other side of 30? To me, that's the only question uh, surrounding Jared Allen of the Minnesota Vikings. At number 32, I have Anthony Collins of the Cincinnati Bengals. Offensive tackle are who performed very well when he got the opportunity to start 
and play in Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati values this guy. I think they're going to kick Andrew Whitworth into guard and keep Collins a tackle. But if he ever hits the open market, this is a guy to me that's a top four or five tackle available here in free agency. And look for there to be a considerable market for him. That's why I expect Cincinnati to get the deal done with him before he even reaches uh, the open market. And lastly for this video, guys, at number 31, I have no Sean Moreno of the Broncos. Again, I think he's a tandem running back. I don't think he's any more than that. I know he had an excellent season this year, but again, had an excellent season in a contract year, playing with the best quarterback in the NFL in the most scheme-friendly type of offense for his style of play. I think he can be you know, the 1A part of a 1A, 1B type tandem in the NFL, but I think that's the ceiling for Sean Moreno here heading forward, whether he stays with the Broncos or more likely, from what you're hearing, moves on um, to another team. Guys, those are players 40 through 31 on my list. Again, I'm counting down 50 to number one in five separate videos for every 10 players on the list, so be sure to check those out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. You can keep up with the list and also check out all my other videos here on YouTube. Thanks again for listening, and have a great day.